Hello and welcome to this online tutorial of OneDrive. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and upload files to your OneDrive, learn about sharing files and folders with colleagues, and how to sync your OneDrive with your computer. OneDrive is personal cloud storage where your data is stored safely and securely on the internet and available from any internet connected device. The beauty of OneDrive is that you can save your files to one location, but access those same files on multiple devices. One thing to note is that OneDrive is not departmental storage. Simply put, OneDrive was designed to be a place to store your files as well as a means to share and collaborate with colleagues easily. How to access your OneDrive. Using your Trinity username and password, log on to Office 365 at office.tcd.ie. Once signed in, you'll be brought to your Office 365 home screen or portal. Once there, click on the OneDrive application. And then you'll be brought to your OneDrive online. The App Launcher lets you switch easily from one application to another within Office 365. New documents created in OneDrive are saved automatically. So let's have a look at how to do that now. From within OneDrive, I'm going to click on New and then select Word Document. And I'll be brought to the online version of Word. So I'll start typing in some text now. And notice at the top of the screen, next to the Word document, my document is saving. So when I click on the Word document, I can change the title from document to whatever I choose. And then clicking out of that section, I'll see that the title has been saved automatically. Now, if I want to see this document in my OneDrive, I'll use the App Launcher to go back to OneDrive and see my document. First of all, I want to make sure that it says saved, and then I'll click on the App Launcher and select OneDrive. And here's my document here. So when I select that document or click on it, I can either edit it now in Word or in the online version of Word. And here's my document. Voila! You have several options for sharing your files from OneDrive, so let's have a look at those now. Our recommended option is share with specific people only. This option allows you the best level of control for how your file is shared and with whom. Share with people with existing access means that someone has a link to your file already that you probably sent to them and you can just reshare that file with them. Share with people in Trinity means that anyone who has a link to your file will have access to your file. And share with anyone allows you to share with people inside and outside of Trinity who have Microsoft accounts. These links have expiry dates. So now that we know the different options for sharing, let's have a look at how to share files using those options and how to stop sharing files. First, we'll share by the share button. We'll select our document and click on share at the top of the screen. We'll set our share settings to specific people only and click on apply. And then I'll enter my recipient's names here. and add an optional message. And click on send. My next option is to share by the share button from within the document. So 
So I'll actually click on the document inside of OneDrive and click on Share at the top of the screen. Change my share settings to specific people. And this time I'll untick Allow Editing. This just means that the recipients won't be able to uh, edit my document. So I'll add in my recipients here. And again, add an optional message. And click on send. Now I'll go back to OneDrive and look at my third option for sharing. This time I'll have OneDrive create an access link. So I'll select my document and click on copy link at the top of my screen. This is just a link that OneDrive is generating that I can send to specific people from an email. So I'll click on apply and then click on copy. And now I'll use the app launcher to go to my Outlook and create a new email message to send to people. So I'll click on new and then paste my link here. So this link here is just a link to my document in OneDrive. And my recipients here. And then click on Send. Now, let's use the App Launcher to go back to OneDrive and check our privacy settings. So to check your privacy settings, look at the right side of your screen under the word heading sharing. When I click on the word share, I'll get a panel that opens up that lets me know who has access to this document. In this sharing panel, I'll also get some more information about the document, like when it was created, etc. If I want to manage my sharing or stop sharing something, I'll click on shared again and then click on Manage Access. I can see the expiry date for this link here. And then I just click on Stop Sharing. So anyone who has access to this link will no longer have access to it once I click on Stop Sharing. And then I can very quickly check my privacy options again by having a look at the right side of the screen and it says private, excellent. So now let's go a bit more in depth with OneDrive with a few short videos from Microsoft. When you upload files to OneDrive, you can securely update and share them from anywhere. In OneDrive, click Upload. Select the files then select Open, and the files upload to OneDrive. With the latest version of your browser, you can also drag files from your computer straight to OneDrive. Select the files you want to upload and drag them to OneDrive. In Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser, you can upload folders from the Upload menu. With other browsers, create a folder in OneDrive. And then drag or upload the files into them. If you've set up OneDrive to sync to your computer, you can drag files to OneDrive in your file system. OneDrive supports a wide range of file types. And with your files in OneDrive, you can get to them from almost any device. With OneDrive, you can sync files between your computer and the cloud so you can get to them from anywhere. 
If you're on Windows 10, your computer already has the OneDrive desktop app on it. Just select Start, type OneDrive, and then select the OneDrive desktop app. Sign in to OneDrive with the account you want to sync and finish setting up. Your OneDrive files will start syncing to your computer. If you're on a Mac or an earlier version of Windows, go to onedrive.com download and download the OneDrive desktop app. Then sign in with your OneDrive account to start syncing. Once you're synced, you'll see your files in File Explorer. On a Mac, your files will appear under OneDrive in the Mac Finder. If you use more than one account, your personal files appear under OneDrive Personal and your work or school files appear under OneDrive and the name of your organization. Now you can copy or move files from your computer to OneDrive right from your file system. You can also click the OneDrive Cloud icon in the Windows Notification area to check status on your files, add an account, or manage other sync settings. Now you can sync your files with OneDrive and get to them from anywhere. You can find more video tutorials on Office 365 online at support.office.com. You can also find lots of helpful video tutorials in your Trinity playlist at lynda.tcd.ie. Let's have a quick look now at how to find those Trinity playlists. From within Lynda, go to your assigned playlists and click on Trinity Office 365 Essentials or Trinity OneDrive. These video tutorials have been curated by IT Services. You can also keyword search OneDrive on the IT Services website for more information regarding OneDrive and Trinity. Thank you for your time and best of luck using OneDrive.